I'm going to be teaching you guys everything that you need to know to fix high ping and packet loss issues. And only 10% of you guys are subscribed, so make sure to subscribe. So one of the first things I'm always going to recommend doing when doing any sort of optimization is going to your search bar and typing in create a restore point. You're going to open this tab up. And when you get this open, you're literally just going to go click create type in whatever you want. So I'll type fix high ping and then click create. This will make it so after your restore point is created, if at any point you don't like the changes, you can do a system restore and reverse them and it'll go back to like just before you started this process. So my first method to fix high ping and packet loss is by using exit lag. To start, just click the link in the pin comment or description to open up the exit lag website and click register and make an account really fast and then go over to the download tab and download the client. Once you have the client open, choose which game you are playing and select the region where the server you are playing on is hosted and click apply routes. Now just like that, exit lag has instantly reduced your latency and will help fix your ping issues. Before I turned on exit lag, I was getting over 100 ping to every server and after I was able to get 10 ping to Virginia and 25 to Chicago. If you want to try out exit lag, they are currently running a Black November promotion where you can get 3 months for the price of 2. Click on the link in the pinned comment or description if you want to try it out. And thank you so much to exit lag for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get right back to the video. So the first thing that we're going to do is hop on Valorant and go to our network buffering settings in the general tab. If you have a lot of ping spikes and packet loss, you're going to change this setting to maximum. And if you only have a little bit of ping spikes and packet loss, switch it to moderate. The next thing we're going to do is go to our Google Chrome system tab and then find this tab right here. Turn off hardware acceleration and turn off continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. Then we're going to open up background apps on our computer. Once we get this open, you can turn all of them off with this setting or you can go through and turn them individually off. These apps can run in the background of your PC and also eat up a bit of your bandwidth. So let's go to our search bar again and type in allow an app through Windows firewall. Open this tab up and once you get here, you're gonna click change settings and then allow another app and go to the browse tab. From here, go to your local disk and then go to the Riot Games folder, then Riot Client and find Riot Client Services and double click this and then just click add. Then open up your search bar again and type in run. From here, type in services.msc. Once this is open, you can full screen it and then scroll down until you find Windows Update. So right here, we found Windows Update, right click on it and click Properties. So for startup type, we're going to set this to disabled so that we don't get any Windows updates while we are playing the game to throttle our bandwidth. Next, we're going to type in CMD in our search. Make sure to run it as administrator and then open it up and type in ping 1.1.1.1. And this will show you a bunch of data and it'll also show you your minimum, maximum and average ping to this server. After that, type in ping 8.8.8.8 and it'll show you the same data and also give you a minimum, maximum and average ping. So you can see here that my average ping to 8.8.8.8 is higher than my ping to 1.1.1.1. Your minimum, maximum and average ping will be different than mine. So make sure to find out which one has a lower MS for you and then we'll get to the next step. Next, you're going to right click on your network on the bottom right and open up your network and internet settings. Once you get this open, click on Ethernet and click change adapter options. You're going to see your Ethernet right here. Right click on it and click properties. And then you're going to find Internet Protocol version 4 TCP slash IVP4 and open up the properties of it. We're going to change our obtain DNS server automatically to use the following DNS server. So this was where it's going to differ for each person. So if you ping better to 1.1.1.1, you're going to type in here 1, 1, 1, 1. And for alternate DNS server, you're going to type in 1, 0, 0, 1. But if you pinged better to 8.8.8.8, .8 you're going to alternatively type in 8, sorry, 8, 8, 8, 8, and then 8, 8, 4, 4. 
This will fix your routing issues. After you're done this, just click OK and we'll get on to the next step. Next, open your search bar and type in device manager. From here, you're going to open up this page and find network adapters. You'll probably see real tech gaming, whatever here. Right click on it and click properties. Find the driver tab and you'll probably notice that your driver is outdated. See, mine hasn't been installed since 2022 in January. It's now October of 2023. From here, just click update driver. After that, go to the advanced tab, find advanced EEE, set this value to disabled, and then you're going to find energy efficient ethernet. Make sure that this is disabled as well, and then find green ethernet, disable this as well. And then we're going to go down until we find power saving mode, disable this as well. And then you're going to scroll down a little bit more. You'll see wake on magic packet, disable this wake on magic packet disable this as well and wake on pattern match disabled and then you're going to go to the power management tab from here make sure that both of these are unchecked so for this part of the method we're going to go on google and just type in tcp optimizer i'll link this in the description and pin comment for you guys click on the first link and then we're going to just go ahead and install tcp optimizer 4. so once you've got TCP optimizer open, make sure to select the network adapter that you're currently using and then go ahead and turn your connection speed all the way up to 100 plus megabytes per second. After that, go to your advanced settings and click the custom bottom in the bottom right corner. And then we're going to change all of these settings. So for max connections per one underscore zero server, we're going to change that to 10. Then max connections per server, change this to 10 as well. And then for local priority, switch this to four. Host priority, switch this to five. DNS priority, we're going to switch this one to six. And then net BT priority, we're going to switch it to seven. For max SYN transmissions, we're gonna change it to two. And we're going to make sure non-SAC is disabled and change our initial RTO to 2000. And our min RTO will stay at 300. For QoS non-best, effort limit it's blank and for qs do not use nla set this to optimal and then we are going to make sure network throttling is disabled and system responsiveness is set to gaming for tcp ack frequency we're going to change this to disabled one for tcp no delay we're going to change it to enabled one and for tcp delete act ticks set this to zero and disabled for network memory allocation we'll change this to zero and for size default one. And for our max user port, we are going to type in 65534. And for our TCT timed wait delay, set this to 32. After you're done with this, just click apply and you're all set to go. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And if you did make it this far, I'm gonna be giving away one Valorant Battle Pass to one person who drops a like and drops a comment in the comment section below. I'll pick the winners in around seven days and I'll announce them in my Discord server. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and it helped you out. And if it did, don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.